Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show brought to you by Bank Hometown. Uh, you can't uh, turn on the news or read the newspaper uh, uh, and uh, hear about climate change and how that's impacting us in a, in a variety of ways. And uh, as the old adage goes, uh, think globally, act locally. Uh, and there are things that people can do and businesses, uh, steps that businesses can take to uh, reduce their carbon footprint, uh, be good environmental uh, stewards, uh, and potentially save money. And one of those pieces is solar. And we're pleased to have it with us in this final segment, Stephen Sosa, who is uh, with Summit Energy, uh, which focuses on solar installation. Stephen, welcome. Thank you for having me, Tim. Very excited to talk to you. Yeah. Well, Stephen, I mean, you can't help but uh, drive around on a regular basis and see the proliferation of solar panels that are uh, on uh, residential houses, on businesses. Uh, you see uh, fields that have become solar arrays. and. Uh, it's a huge trend right now and, and, and growing, uh, and there's got to be a good reason for that. Yeah, definitely. The, one of the main reasons for it being more popular nowadays is because the price of utility bills just keep going up. Right. There's nothing we can do about stopping National Grid or Eversource or any other utility companies from raising their prices because there's more supply and demand and prices do go up of things over time. So going right. solar is one of the ways to lock you out of that and keep you at a lower rate than everybody else. And, and how does it do that? So we, we can uh, we put panels on your home. Yeah. We build them out to the projected size of how much you use in the past year. We try to match that production and uh, consumption. And once we have that, we can lock you at a much lower rate than whatever you, you are wherever you are right now. And it locks you in for 25 years. So you don't have to worry about the utility prices going up and down. As your neighbor's prices go up and down, you're, you're staying at a much lower rate. Right, right. And, um, you know, just on Summit Energy, I mean, now, given the growth of, of, of industry and, and solar, um, you see a whole host of companies now. How long has Summit been in this space? Yeah, Summit's been around since 2016. Yeah. So we just got our uh, seven-year anniversary a couple months ago. And we're not, we're, not going, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. If you, you do a little bit of research about solar companies in the area, a lot of places rent out their spots. And, you know, they host their things in there and they have their offices in there. We bought an entire building in Mansfield. We weren't, we aren't going anywhere. We're taking things very serious. Right. And is it primarily residential or is it residential and commercial? Yeah, we, we, be, we do both. Uh, I focus on residential, but as I'm meeting more people, I'm learning a little bit more about the commercial aspect, but we have a whole commercial branch to our office. Okay. And just on the residential, because that's probably by number, you know, more residential properties than, than commercial industrial. So... You're a homeowner, you're interested in exploring the idea of putting solar panels on your roof. What's the process? Yeah, it's, a, it's actually super simple. What I, all I need from you is your name, <laughs> number, email, and then just a copy of your utility bill front and back, just so we can see your record, see how much energy you've used right. in the past year. That's all on everyone's energy bill. And once we have that, I send it over to our engineering team. They create a design, they shoot me back some numbers, and, they, we, and then you and I can sit together, discuss if that makes sense for you. Right. But then, you know, there's the uh, uh, kind of the questions of the, the cost of the bill and what can be saved, but then there's also the uh, installation and say, you know, what happens to my roof and what happens mm -hmm. if I've got to repair the roof and the solar panels are on top of it. And just how does that, that work? Because yeah. those are questions that I've heard people yeah, talk about. Yeah, no, that's about. a great question. Uh, what we do right after signing things is we set up a site assessment to make sure that your roof is up to date or if it can handle all the solar panels that we plan on putting on. So we do a little site assessment. If, you're, 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 if your roof's like 10 years or younger, you're, you're pretty much set, you're all good. But if it's 15 years, 20 years plus, we're gonna look into replacing that. And that's something that I've been actually working with a lot of customers. Half of my deals have a roof attached to them and we can still save them a bunch of money. Yeah, when you say a roof attached to them, yeah, so uh, you replace the roof with what, while putting on the yeah, panels. Yeah, so we'll make sure that the uh, the roof is in good shape, and if it's not, then that's something we'll do. We'll we have an in-house roofing company, so we don't sell any of our work, right. and we can actually put a roof on your home and then put the solar panels on right after. All right, and and then you said lock in the cost. So if you've got a bill of say two hundred dollars a month, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the solar panels. I'm sure part of that site assessment is, you know, how much energy will that you know, solar panels generate, mm -hmm. and that then pays your bill. Uh, how, how does that work in terms of like the your bill and, yeah, so, and the so cost of the solar panel? The, the goal is to get you to 100%, but not everyone can get to 100%. A lot of people use a lot of energy. Some people don't have enough space on their roof. Right. So that's something that we put in there. And we're just going to try to match your consumption and lock you in at a much lower rate. We have the ability to using different financing options 
to be able to lock you in at a much lower rate. And it just lowers your bill. It's, it's great. Right. And so that certain amount of money you pay locks you into a rate so that you're not you're paying more, but also then pays pays the cost of the installation and, mm -hmm. and the solar panels themselves. Yeah, definitely. I haven't had any customers lately have to put any money down. So it's been zero down for everybody and we just help them out. We, you don't right. pay until they're on and turned on and working. And you mentioned 25 years. Is that the u usual length of something like this? Yeah, that's usually the, uh, the, the length for solar panels and a lot of warranties are anywhere from 20 to 25. We have an extended warranty up to 30 years, so right. we have you covered for 30 years. And then after that period of time when the installation and the solar panel costs are paid for, what's, what happens then? The, the solar panels become yours and you're just getting free energy. You don't have a solar rail anymore and hopefully the, you have enough panels to cover all your energy and then you just are just happy with the no no bills. So that so those solar panels would just basically pay yeah pay your bill and 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 uh, so that kind of kind of comes back to you after everything's paid for. Yes, definitely. Got it, got it. And so it seems like you know this is growing. I'm curious, you know, in terms of any any data or or volume uh, that you have on any of that, or is it just kind of out there talking to people? No, it's definitely growing. Uh, as as I mentioned before, the prices of utilities just keep going up. So it's becoming more popular to say, hey, how can I find out how much my bills are going to be, or even lower a mandatory bill like your utility bill. Everyone needs to pay their utility bill. Right. So we're finding a way to lower that bill that you have to pay every month and keep you at a much, much lower rate, or so much lower price. Again, just from what I, I read, I mean, you've got the utility costs that you talk about that are going up, but uh, also the technology and the cost of solar panels. The, the, the technology apparently has gotten better, and the cost of producing and making solar panels has gone down. Mm -hmm which allows us to give you guys remarkable prices. Uh, let's say 10 years ago, the panels were half as efficient as they are now. Right. And now we're all the way up to 400, 420 uh, watt panels. 10 years ago, they were in the 280s, 300. Yeah. So technology has doubled. You can get double your energy from one panel than you were able to get you know, 10 years ago. Right, right. Uh, and is there a, a life expectancy of panels or is it kind of just depend on uh, weather and... and uh, uh, yeah, that, that definitely... You know, comes in consideration, but their their average lifespan is about thirty plus years. Right, uh, right. And as the better technology is coming out, and they're more efficient, they're a lot stronger than they used to be. We're we're looking at it a little bit longer than that, but on on paper, twenty five to thirty. Right, right. Uh, and then uh, battery storage uh, is not far behind, right? <laughs> yeah, battery storage is not far behind. It's um, it's not that popular in Massachusetts yet, but we're seeing a lot more batteries that people want to buy. Usually, people with EV EV vehicles. Yep. Are a little the ones looking for batteries right now and it's an option we can explore. Got it. Uh, Stephen, if someone's interested in contacting you and, and, and Summit uh, Energy, how do they do that? Yes, I um, I'd love for anyone to give me a call, shoot me a text. My number is 978-320-9209. I also have a personal website that you can sign up for a call and I can give you a call. It's uh, stephensolar.com. stephensolar.com. Yes, sir. And then on Instagram, steve.solar. Steve, that's all. All right. Well, uh, an informative uh, session here as we learn about solar and, and its growth in the region. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Good. And I want to thank you, our viewers, for being with us on this edition of Chamber Exchange, the TV show. And I want to thank Bank Hometown for being our sponsor. <laughs>